In this video, I'm going to show you the GLD fader strips and their mixing functions. GLD has 20 faders arranged across the surface in two banks. The left hand side has 12 and the right hand side has 8. You have a lot of freedom in GLD and the iLive to arrange the surface how you want. Each fader strip can be assigned to be an input channel or an output mix and affects send or return or a DCA group. Faders can also show send levels from the channels and can be used to control the graphic equalizers. Each bank has four layers, so in effect you have 80 strips all customizable to your needs. And as you can save these setups in the scenes, you can instantly recall different layouts without affecting the audio. You can color code the strip LCDs to make it easy to identify different types of channels. If you decide at any time a fader strip must always be visible, simply hold down the Freeze in Layers key and touch the Mix key on that channel. It will now always appear on top. Note, GLD has peak LEDs next to the four layer keys to let you know when a signal is getting hot in any channel in that layer. You have loads of headrooms in a GLD mixer, but it's good to keep your eye out for any problems. A lot of key information is displayed in the strip LCD. Default or custom color coding can easily help you identify the operation of the strip. For example, in the factory show templates, all input channels are green and all orgs mixes are light blue. The type of operation of the strip is shown at the top of the LCD together with its associated channel number. Of course, you can name these channels and the strip will then display the names. Anytime you need to see the default ID for a strip, simply press the Alt View key which can be set to reveal the default name or socket ID. If the strip is controlling a stereo channel, then ST will appear in the LCD. Effectively, one fader and the selected channel strip controls will affect two lots of processing simultaneously, saving you real estate on your surface. When the strip is under control of one or more DCA groups, then you will see the word DCA in the LCD. If any DCA group controlling a channel is muted, then this word will blink and the DCA mute LED will illuminate below and to the left of the channel mute key, which has its own standalone operation and LED. The lower section of the LCD displays the channel's assignment to the current mix which the surface is in. The default mix is the main console masters. Blue mix LEDs illuminate on the mix channel master strip and the current mix is displayed in the touchscreen south bar. Input channel LCD will display on if that channel is assigned to the mix. Note, no mix name is displayed when the channel LCD is showing the assignment to the main mix. If we select an AUX mix for example, then input sources for that mix will now display the word AUX at the bottom of the LCD. To toggle the channel assignment on and off to the current mix, simply press and hold the blue assign key and touch the channel's mix keys on and off. To quickly assign or deassign all channels to a mix, Press and hold the assign key and touch the mix key on the current lip master. A similar action works for pre and post fader assignments. An individual channel's send status to the current mix is shown in the lower part of the LCD. To change this per channel, simply press and hold the green pre and post master key and touch the channel's green select key to change that status. To do a global or pre or post fade assignment to a mix, Press and hold the master pre and post key and touch the cell key on the current master. A small arc in the LCD displays levels depending on the type of master mix you're in and the mode of the rotary control below the LCD. Typically, if you're in the default mix, you may want the rotary to control the channel pan. Pan position to the stereo output is shown in the arc on the LCD. If you needed to quickly see and set the channel gain, however, for example during a band changeover, then set the rotary global mode to gain and you will then see the preamp or trim gain level displayed in the channel cell. Two global custom modes for the rotaries can be set up in the surface utility menu. A typical choice would be the send to the main reverb unit. The LED bar meter above the fader displays the pre-fade signal level in an input channel or the post-fade level of an output mix master. Signal processing in a channel will affect the signal level shown on the meter. The top multi-point peak LED illuminates if any processing section in the channel is approaching the maximum operating levels. This also triggers the peak in layers LED as a warning to check out channels not currently being viewed. 
The channel mute key is the large white rubber key just below the bar meter. It has a red LED inside it and when active will illuminate the whole button. All pre or post fade sends are affected. Mute groups on GLD are functions of DCAs which you have 16 available. The select key on a channel fader strip will bring that channel's processing onto the control strip along the top and on the touchscreen when in the processing view or when working with the effects. Cell keys can also be used to enter data into the clipboard when copying and pasting between channels. To listen to the source of a channel, press the PFL button on its fader strip. Global preferences for the way these work are available in the Setup Audio Screen menu. For example, you can choose whether multiple selections are allowed. Input overrides Output Mix PFL, so if you are listening to a mix, then pressing an input PFL will switch what you hear in your cans or wedge to be that input. Releasing the key will return the monitor section to the previously selected output mix. GLD can easily show your sends on the faders. Hit the blue mix key on any input or source channel and you will see the send level to internal effects units and the orgs mixes. You can also check the assignments to these mixes in the mix LCD. Press and hold assign key and touch the master mix keys to toggle on and off to each mix. Similarly, for pre and post fade settings, press and hold the pre and post master key and touch the green cell key on individual mix masters to toggle the status. To see the source levels to a mix, press the blue mix key on a master and the faders will then show the send levels to that mix. For example, the faders are currently showing the levels of individual instruments in the house main mix. Press mix on orgs 1 and the faders move to the level of each instrument set in that mix. You can easily see across the surface and layers a channel send level and make adjustments. To reset a mix any time, press and hold the reset key and touch the mix master and that will bring down all the sends to that mix.